If you are looking to run AI models in your browser, then you need to know about transformers.js. In this video, I am going to give you a quick overview of this transformers.js and then we will be installing it locally. State of the art machine learning models are cool, but more often than not, whenever we think about them, we need GPUs, we need very heavy servers, but transformers.js lets you directly run these models in your browser without any need for a server. Transformers.js is designed to be functionally equivalent to Hugging Face Transformers Python library, which means that you can run the same pre-trained models, whether they are text-based or image-based, using a very, very similar API. You can use NLP models, computer vision, audio, multimodal. If that model is on Hugging Face, there is every chance that you can run it with Transformers.js in your browser. Transformer.js uses ONNX runtime to run models in the browser. The best part about it is that you can easily convert your pre-trained PyTorch, TensorFlow or JAX models to ONNX using Optimum. And I have covered Optimum and this ONNX runtime in my channel in few videos. You can search them, but they are not really directly related to this one. So in order to use it, let's first get it installed on our local system and then we will play around with it. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and the GPU which I am going to use for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description and I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount. So do check them out if you like. Let me take you to my VM. So this is a VM I am running and to show you my GPU card, this is NVIDIA RTX A6000, which I am running here. Now, before we move forward, because this is a JavaScript file, so we would need to install Node.js and NPM locally on our system. I am using Ubuntu, but you can use Windows, Mac OS, whatever you like. But make sure that you have Node and NPM installed. The best way to install Node and NPM is to do with NVM utility. So first let's install the NVM. And this is a command to install the NVM. So let me quickly do that. It is going to install it on your local system. Let's wait for it to get installed. And NVM has finished installing. Let's also set the environment. You just need to export this stuff. And this is going to set it in the environment. So let me quickly do that. And environment is also set. I have also sourced the shell and then I have checked command dash V NVM and NVM is installed. Let me clear the screen. You can also check your NVM version through this command. And now let's use NVM to install our Node.js and NPM. So let's wait for it. It don't take too long now. And that is all done. You can also check your node version and you can check your NPM version too. So both are the latest one. And the reason why I'm focusing on this version so much is that this is quite crucial. If you won't get these versions right, you won't be able to install this stuff. This is very, very version specific. Anyway, so now we have all this node and NPM out of the way. Let's focus on our actual task which is to install transformers.js and in order to install the transformers.js all you need to do is to run this command and i'm installing it from the source so that it will be able to get the latest version so let me run it it is going to download it and install it let's wait for it and now transformer.js is installed and that is how easy it is to install this library once transformers.js installed, it is easy to use large language models in browser and I will show you how. From now on, just consider it yet another Node.js program. So let's go into this transformer.js folder which we have just uh, git cloned and I will drop the link in video's description. And if you don't know how to do it, simply do git clone and then the whole URL of it and then just cd to it. So I am already in it. 
in this they have provided some of the examples which we are using so if you see there is this code completion one let me go there and if i do ls this is simple your uh, node.js project let me clear it and from here simply do npm install and it is going to install everything what is required here like including white and stuff i already have done it and then from here simply do npm run dev it is going to start it on your local host at port 5113 either click here or just simply open it in your local host so let me go to my local host it seems it is yeah so i'm just going to go here local host and port was 5173 press enter and there you go so i have just opened this code completion example so you see it has already got the model on the right hand side which is a tiny star coder here you can set the uh, new tokens or the randomness of the response or you can even do the probability with top case sampling but i'm just going to keep it like this i'm not going to use it and of course you can simply use it however you like it is going to trigger the model for you so that's it guys that's how easy it is to run these models in browser by using transformer.js and as i mentioned earlier it just not confined to text-based model you can do a lot of things with it in the next videos i'm going to show you how you can run vision model in the browser by using the same technique and just remember that as long as you have the latest version of node and npm installed you are good to go rest is just simple node.js and javascript stuff and also um, if you want to run text to speech model you can also do that easily you can even run video model with it clip models with it uh, bird model it and the list goes on and on so all in all i believe um, really state of the art machine learning for the web and this could be the future really because simply you can pick it up uh, and use it because this transformers.js is designed to be uh, functionally performant and some i have seen that some people are even using some of the uh, smaller tiny models on cpu so you can even do that too if you like but uh, as long as you have web gpu enabled in your browser and i believe chrome and firefox come natively with it you might have to enable it chrome and uh, in your edge browser so just check out just google it how to enable web gpu if you if this is not working in your browser but these days most of these browsers support that so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know how you go if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please do me a favor and share it among your net network as it helps a lot thanks for watching